have you ever wondered how RV toilet paper compares to national brands that are septic safe? We're going to find out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. Before we get this week's episode started, make sure if you haven't subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell right beside of the subscribe button so you get notified each time we post a new video. For real-time updates, you can follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can also check out our brand new website, TravelsWithDelaney.com. All right, so this week I thought what we would do is look at a short science experiment. Now, when I was a kid in elementary and middle school, I loved doing the science fair, and quite frankly, it's science fair time of the year. So we're going to do a real simple, non-scientific test to see how a RV toilet paper will break down compared to some of the more national brand septic safe toilet paper. So these are actually the Aldi version of some of the national brands. And so we're going to be using in this particular experiment um, Quilted Northern or the equivalent of Quilted Northern, um, Angel Soft, and a Scott brand. And then for our RV toilet paper, what we like is the Stepford two-ply um, toilet paper. So it's going to be, like I said, a really non-scientific experiment, other than the fact uh, we're going to try to control as much of it as we possibly can and just kind of see over a couple of days what happens to the toilet paper. So the way I'm going to do the experiment is I'm going to use 12 ounces of water. Now I have these clear cups and I have them all labeled with what kind of toilet paper is going to be in them. So all I'm going to do is just go ahead and I'm going to add the 12 ounces to the plastic cup. Now I have two cups for each type of toilet paper. And the reason I'm going to do that is we're going to do one with just plain water. And then we're going to use the second cup to add a spoonful of the Camper Chemical Thetford brand just like you would normally do in your holding tank. Now a lot of people will say that the chemical is primarily for the purpose of keeping your black tank smelling good. But if you actually read the bottle it claims that it will help to also break down solids. So we're going to do that for each of the different toilet paper. So on this particular one it says Quilted Northern. So I have that all ready to go. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to go ahead and I want to make sure I have, we're just going to put in two squares in each cup. One, two. One, two. All right, and I'm going to set that right back behind. So let's go ahead and we're going to put two sheets right into the water. And I'm going to push it down so it gets wet. And then I'm going to do two more in the cup that has our Camp Chem chemical. And I think I'll go ahead and use my spoon there. And we're just going to let those sit. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to come back in 24 hours and we're going to give them a little stir and see if they've begun to break down or not. But before we can do that, we need to go ahead and get all of these filled up as well. So let me go ahead and get that started. set up with our experiment. So we have the Quilted Northern right here in this row. We have the Scott Tissue, which I should mention is the only single ply toilet paper of the four that we're testing. So it'll be interesting to see how, although the Scott is not considered an RV toilet paper, um, it is considered septic safe as is the Quilted Northern, the Angel Soft, and the um, obviously the Thetford, which is the, the camping toilet paper. So we have um, the Quilted Northern double ply, the Scott single ply, the Angel Soft double ply, and then finally the Thetford camping toilet paper that 
is a double ply as well. So we're just gonna let those soak. We'll come back in 24 hours and give them a stir and see if they're starting to break up or not. Um, and we'll check back in and see how it's doing. All right, it's been 24 hours and let's just go ahead and see what's happening to the toilet paper. Let's go ahead and start with the Quilted Northern. I'm gonna pull it right up to the camera here. And I'm just gonna kind of give it a swirl. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see it's still pretty solid. And that's just in the regular water. And then let's do the, let's go across. Um, that way we don't contaminate our stirring stick. This is the Scott single ply. One, two, three, four, five. It's still pretty intact there. Okay, so that's our Scott. Let's do the Angel Soft right here. Let's get one, two, three, four, five. And again, still pretty much intact. And finally, we have our Thetford 2 ply. Now, this is the stuff that you buy specifically for a camper. So let's see how this is. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. And it still is fully intact. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, it's not disintegrating at all. Okay, so now let's go back through and we'll do the ones that have the holding tank chemical. So this is the um, Quilted Northern. One, two, three, four, five. And it looks like we're still fully intact. Go ahead and do the Scott single ply, and I can tell you it's already disintegrating up top. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. And, and you can see it's, well, it's still pretty much intact there. Again, not a real scientific experiment. We're just kind of using common sense. And, and uh, okay. So this is the Angel Soft, or at least the, and again, these are all one, two, three, four, five. Five. What I started to say was these are all um, the Aldi version of these national brands. And that still seems to be intact. So none of them are breaking down. So let's see what our Thetford camper um, version in the um, tank chemical. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't know if you can see that, but we're still pretty much fully intact. So 24 hours in, honestly, none of them seem to be breaking down at all. So what we'll do is we're just gonna let this set for another 24 hours and we'll come back and we'll see if they start breaking down anymore. So we'll just wait. All right, it has been a full 48 hours since we put our toilet paper into our water. So let's go ahead and give them a stir and we'll see if anything's starting to break down yet. So we're gonna start with this Quilted Northern in just regular water. And I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five. And actually, it is starting to break up a little bit. Now we'll do the same Quilted Northern, but it's setting in our chemical like you would put in your black tank. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm starting to see, and you may not be able to see that here, but we're starting to see a little bit of breakdown but honestly not much more than in the regular water. Okay, let's go to our Scott single ply. One, two, three, four, five. And we're starting to see just a little bit, a little bit of breakup. Um, but for being single ply, I would actually expect a little bit more. Let's do our Scott single ply in our holding tank chemical. One, two, three, four, five. And again, a little bit of breakup, but surely not what I would expect for a single ply paper. Let's go to the Angel Soft. I like Angel Soft, it's really nice. But I'm afraid it's just a little too much for a holding tank. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm actually seeing some breaking up of it. And let's go to the Angel Soft and the Holding tank chemical, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and again, seeing some breakup, all right? And remember, these are just sitting. We're not doing anything with them other than when we stir it out here to get a sense for what's happening. 
All right, and now finally, here's our Thetford two ply camper paper. One, two, three, four, five. And we're definitely seeing some breakup on it. Um, and I would say there's a little more breakup there than what we see on any of these others. And then let's go ahead and try the Thetford and the holding tank chemical. One, two, three, four, and five. And interestingly enough, it's about the same, not really seeing a ton of breakup. So um, we're 48 hours in, can't say there's anything real conclusive yet, um, but I'm not seeing necessarily a huge breakup on the camper paper. So let's go ahead, let's wait it out another day. I think for most of us, we're gonna have our black tanks full for at least three days. If, you, if you're a weekend warrior like us, you figure you, you go in on a Friday night, um, you stay Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, which is really about 48 to um, 36 hours. Um, but then if you're camping for, let's say, a week, you're probably going to go four to five days before you actually have to dump. So we're going to go at least another 24 hours on this test to see what we can find out. So, all right, sit back, relax, and let's just wait. All right, it is now day three of our little science experiment on the toilet paper. Now, usually on day three is when us weekend warriors are gonna be dumping our black tanks. Remember, probably arrived on a Friday, Friday evening, and then we're gonna be heading home on Sunday. So I think three day test is a pretty good idea. Now, if you're staying for a longer period of time and if you have a larger black tank, you can go longer. The other thing to keep in mind is you may have some toilet paper from the first day in your black tank, but you could also have some toilet paper that just went in on, let's say, a Sunday morning. So all along here, it's not just what the final product is, but it's all along. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with our um, Quilted Northern just in plain water, and we're going to give it one, two, three, four, five. And you can hopefully see it is really starting to break up after three days. And now we'll do our Quilted Northern that's in the chemical, the holding tank chemical. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, really starting to break up in here. So that's a good thing. Let's move on to our Scott. And remember, this is that single ply Scott. So all the others are double ply. One, two, three, four, five. And again, it's breaking up but I'm not overly impressed considering it's a single ply. I guess I would have expected it to have broken up a lot quicker. And now let's do our Scott. One, two, three, four, five, and get it in the camera. And again, it's, it's broken up, so I would be okay with that. But I was just expecting for a single ply to break up a lot quicker. Now we'll go with Angel Soft. One, two, three, four, five, and hopefully you can see it is breaking up just here in the clear water. And we'll do our Angel Soft holding tank chemical. One, two, three, four, five. And again, you can see it is starting to shred. Pretty positive there. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and check out our Thetford two-ply camping toilet paper. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see it's, it's doing pretty well. Now it is breaking up. That's not single sheets anymore. And let's go ahead and give the old camping chemical one. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, it's definitely breaking up. Okay. Kind of globby. All right, so there you see where we're at after three days. We're gonna go ahead and go one more day just to see what kind of a difference that makes, and then we'll wrap this thing up. So again, hold tight, and through the miracle of editing, I'll be right back. Wow, that was quick. All right, it is day four of our test. This is our final day, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So we're gonna start here with the old quilted northern, just in regular water. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see it is definitely tearing apart 
after four days. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our quilted northern with the holding tank chemical. One, two, three, four, five. And this has really shredded up nicely. So that's good. Moving on to the Scott single ply, just in regular water. One, two, three, four, five. And again, it is pretty much disintegrated, which we would expect on a single ply. And let's go over here to our Scott with the holding tank chemical. One, two, three, four, five. And not too bad. Moving on to Angel Soft, plain water. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll just kind of, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much just shred it up and holding tank chemical one two three four five and this is pretty much shredded up which is the way you want it you want it liquefied and finally oops we're going to look at our Thetford camper approved toilet paper one two three four five and you can see it looks pretty much like the others it's kind of tearing apart and finally one two three four five and again you can see and I'm not really sure there's always I've always heard great debate about the holding tank chemical is it just to keep your black tank smelling good or does it also help break down now if you read the bottle on the Fet Thetford chemical it does say it will help to break down waste but um, overall not a whole lot of difference so there you go um, you can see that honestly the Angel Soft and the Quilted Northern broke down and those were two ply um, residential septic safe just as well as the single ply Scott, which was also considered septic safe uh, as compared to the camping toilet paper. So what kind of toilet paper do you use? Let me know down below. Do you buy the actual camping toilet paper or do you use just your home septic safe version of toilet paper in your camp camper? So not real scientific, but at least gives us an idea of what happens to the toilet paper when it sets for four days in water and water with holding tank chemical. All right, I hope you at least found this interesting. Maybe it answered some questions for you. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. Got to think about this one. All right, until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night. Oh, boy. Four rolls of toilet paper were harmed in the making of this video.